Hi there. Welcome to Pre-Calculus Math 11 Lesson 1.2 on Arithmetic Series. Before we get into the lesson, we're going to start off with a little bit of a story time. So get nice and cozy, grab a blankie, maybe a hot cocoa, chocolate chip cookies. Let's begin. As you can see, the man here in the painting is Johann Carl Friedrich Gauss, who was born to relatively poor working class parents in the year 1777. In fact, his mother was an illiterate woman. She didn't even record his birth date properly. It was only through a trick of mathematics later on in his life that he was able to determine what his exact birthday was. For you see, Johann Carl Friedrich Gauss was a true child prodigy in mathematics and was challenging his teachers from an early age. There's many stories about him as a young boy, and I'll leave it to you to research this further if it's of interest. But one in particular, details around him as a seven or eight year old boy, when his teacher decided to give the class the Herculean task of adding all of the integers from one to one hundred. Well, within moments, and with no calculator to assist him, young Carl Freddy came up with the answer. 5,050. How did he do it? Well, first thing he did was just reverse the integers and look at adding them in the opposite order. And then he added them. And look what he got. And you can see, and he recognized that what he had was a sum of 101 for every single one of these pairings. 1 plus 100, 2 plus 99. He had a 100 times 101, which of course would actually be twice the actual sum, since you've got the numbers listed out twice. But he took and added this up, dividing the result by 2, in effect doing 50 times 101, and getting 50-50 as the result. That's an important lesson for us, because if you consider the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, up to 98, 99, 100, they make up a very simple arithmetic sequence. A sequence where the first term is 1 and the constant difference is also 1. What he did was develop a method for adding up the terms of an arithmetic sequence, which is what we call calculating the sum of an arithmetic series. Let's observe then the difference between an arithmetic sequence and an arithmetic series. An arithmetic sequence is once again the list of numbers 1, 2, 3, and so on up to 100. Whereas an arithmetic series, the sum of the first 100 terms of that sequence is 1, plus 2, plus 3, and so on, which up to 100 is equal to 50, 50. A sequence is an ordered list of numbers, whereas a series is the sum of those terms. So an arithmetic sequence is a list of terms where the consecutive terms are separated by a constant difference, d, whereas the arithmetic series is the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence. When we're working with an arithmetic series, we would say the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence is t1 plus t2 plus t3, and so on, all the way up to term n minus 1, and finally adding on term n at the end. But of course, we can use the general term and our knowledge of arithmetic sequences to simplify this statement a little bit more. So of course, we can replace term 2 with its equivalent value, t1 plus d, term 3 with its value of t1 plus 2d, and term n minus 1 with t1 plus n minus 2 times d, and finally term 1 replaced with t1 plus n minus 1 times d which I will admit off the top doesn't appear to be any simpler, but that's just because we're in the early stages of doing all of the dirty work here. As is often the case in mathematics, when developing a formula, things have to get a little bit messy before they become quite simple. Now in the interest of space here, I've eliminated T3 from the next row down, as you can see, um, just to tidy things up a little bit. But we've still got T1 plus T2, and then the second to last term and the last term. And then of course in this row I've just reversed them. So adding SN with SN we get 2SN. Adding T1 with T1 plus N minus 1 times D we get 
t1 plus n minus 1 times d. And adding t plus d, t1 plus d, with t1 plus n minus 2 times d, we get 2 t1 plus n minus 1 times d. It's the same thing. And so on. And again, we get 2 t1 plus n minus 1 times d. And again, we get 2 t1 plus n minus 1 times d. We end up with n sets of 2t1 plus n minus 1 times d. So we have 2 times the sum of the first n terms is equal to n times 2t1 plus n minus 1 times d. Of course, we don't want to know what 2sn is equal to. We simply want sn. And so we divide both sides by 2, giving us n over 2 times 2t1 two plus n minus 1 times d. Now if you analyze this, this is really quite similar to what we saw from Gauss adding the terms from 1 to 100. He had 50 sets of 101, 50 being half of 100, the number of terms. So we've got n over 2, the total number of terms divided by 2. And then this calculation here, which we're going to explore a little bit more. Before I do that, I'm going to replace all of my messy handwriting with really nice version here, all typed up for you. There it is. Isn't that much nicer? So we've got this final version of the formula here. Although there is one other thing that we could do with this. Of course, we know that t1 plus n minus 1 times d is actually just equal to tn. And we've got this right here in the formula, except instead of t1, we have two t1s. So we're going to split that up into t1 plus t1 plus. So the two t1 is going to split into t1 plus t1 plus and then all of this in here. Sn is equal to n over 2 times 2t1 two plus n minus 1 times d. And like we said, we're going to split the 2t1 two into t1 plus t1. And since we know that t1 plus n minus 1 times d is just equal to tn, we can go right here and replace all of this with tn giving us an even simpler version of the formula like this. The sum of the first n terms is equal to the number of terms divided by 2 times t1 plus tn. Half the number of terms multiplied by first term t1 plus the last term tn. And that's a simple formula. So one more time, we have our basic formula for the general term general term of the arithmetic sequence. Tn equals T1 plus n minus 1 times d. We have the formula for the arithmetic series. The sum of the first n terms equals n over 2 times 2 term 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Or sum of the first n terms is equal to n over 2 times T1 plus Tn. And let's just make sure we all know what all of those variables represent. n represents the number of terms. tn is the value of the nth term. t1, the value of the first term of the sequence. And sn is the sum of the first n terms of the arithmetic series. So here's our first example. Find the sum of the first 25 terms of the arithmetic series given by 4 plus 11 plus 18 and so on. So we've got two ways we could approach this. We could solve first of all using the TN formula to find what T25 is, or we could use this version of the arithmetic series formula. SN 
equals n over 2 times 2 t1 plus n minus 1 times d and simply substitute in all of the known values. We know n is 25. We're looking for the sum of the first 25 terms. We know t1 is 4. And we know d, the difference between the terms, is 7. So putting all of these in, s25 is equal to 25 over 2 times 2 times 4 plus 25 minus 1 times 7. And if we simplify all of this, we've got 25 over 2 times 176, which is going to give us a total of 2,200. And now our second example. Find the sum of this arithmetic series. Well, let's consider the things that we know already. Term 1 is 8. And we know d is equal to 4. We know the last term of this sequence has a value of 52. We just don't know how many terms that is. In order to solve n, we're going to have to go back and use the tn formula. tn equals t1 plus n minus 1 times d. So we've got 52 is equal to 8 plus n minus 1 times 4. And if we work through this and solve for n, we're going to get to a point where we've got n is equal to 12. Now that we know that n is 12, I think it's easiest for us to use the formula Sn equals n over 2 times t1 plus tn. We can go ahead and say that the sum of the first 12 terms is 12 over 2 times 8 plus 52. And that's going to calculate to 300. 60. The sum of the first 12 terms of this arithmetic series is 360. Here's one for you to try on your own now. Calculate the sum of this arithmetic series.